A Psalm of Easter, Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another God shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names on my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that sleep? to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We turn now to the hymnic version of the Te Deum, hymn 941. We stand as we sing God's praise.
We continue with the prayers on page 227. We sing together the Kyrie, the call for God's mercy as we pray. Following each petition of the prayers we speak, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Almighty God, by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light. Grant that we who have been raised with him may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Gracious Father, be with those your servants who call on your name in need of healing. We lift up Professor Mike Littman, who, as he undergoes a third back surgery, we pray for a friend of Professor Jessica Schmidt, who was recently diagnosed with cancer. We pray for Teresa and Walter Smith, supporters of Concordia. Walter has cancer and is uh, recuperating. Um, we pray for continued healing. Gracious Father, for these your servants and all who call on your name, we pray according to your gracious will, that you might heal them, that you might work through doctors, through nurses, through medical teams that would aid them toward a speedy recovery. Lord, grant them patience in their time of trial. Grant them comfort, that you are indeed with them, that your love and care is with them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, You've safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Let us bless the Lord. Praise be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you 